math class? If you're going to tell me how much birch bark pieces you see on here, how much does it take to, to do a panel? When my boss said, oh, we want to build a teaching lounge. He said, oh yeah, okay. And I says, how big is this teaching lounge? He says, oh, we don't really know. I said, what are you going to use? Birch bark. Birch bark. Well, how many pieces of birch bark do you need, you think? So Gord said we should get at least 500 sheets. I said, 500 sheets? That's, that's a lot of sheets. So we went and got sheets. And you can see the size of the sheets are about two feet by uh, three feet. I use our arm length in regards for measuring our what, we, what the legs are. And what we did was we collected the 500 sheets and then we invited everybody in the communities to come and help us sew the birch bark together. We weren't too sure how we're going to put it on here. And I was looking at this canoe and how it was built, like the framing around uh, the canoe itself. And I thought, well, why don't we do the same thing with the panels? Make panels out of these birch bark, and then that way we can put them on there. And that's what, and we have to lay it down where it's like a shingle form, where the water doesn't leak too much. But what's really time consuming is the, uh, the sewing of the birch bark to the top so it doesn't flap, eh? So where they're connected like that, they'll sew that all the way out. They do a seal outside on the outside for me. So you gotta have one person inside and another person outside, poking the needle too. And all the women tied all these frames up. All the men did was they bent the saplings to, to the formation. And all the holes that you see were those little uh, sewing things that we're doing, we'll use screw scum and pitch. Pitch all those holes up. What you're supposed to do is keep it moist. Now when it rains, it's perfect. It just keeps everything moist in regards to the fiber itself and that. Even the, the, even the cedar killing that we use, you know, once, yeah. once it's all uh, too dry, it's very brittle, right? Yeah, yeah. Once it gets moist, you can bend it. Carving the, the cedar uh, strippings around the, the birch bark, it's all hand carved. So I was telling my bro, we, we gotta use a little bit of technology, maybe get a sander and run him through the sander, a lot quicker, because it's very tedious in regards to how you do that. And I gotta trim it. We mix it here to fit in there, to mix it, mix it. And then it doesn't take long. We should do it now. We do it now. We should do it now. We should do it now. We should do it now. If I don't put this in there, this thing will bend. That's what happened there. I'm going to have to make. There's a Yabanisha. There's a Yabanisha. One more, more stick. Because you gotta go like this. Then, you should be small. Like that. You should be squat on it. You should be squat on it. Just gotta sew it, eh? Inches, five inches, we're doing uh, two panels a day, hmm. like this one right here. Is there a word for math in the language? Adding, putting things together? Yeah, man, mandogeng. Mandogeng? Hmm. Man, adding up mandogeng. Well, I made this, and this is Tormanda, like that. Is that what is it? Yeah. This is Tormanda.
It's all you see, building. Gisha Tun building. Yeah. See, I never really classified it as doing anything in math wise when I was building it. Yeah. I was just doing it. Yeah. And that's how Nishnabe people were always. Like even the bending of the saplings, how much strength you need. Yeah. I had to get a couple of powerful boys to come and help me bend that. And then to have them, have the girls tie that up. And that. So it was, it was very, very tedious in a sense, but very, very rewarding. All I knew is I had to get 500 sheets of birch bark. I had to go uh, figure out how to sew them together and how much saplings we needed. We never really had a number, but I just told the guy that we cut 50 saplings and whenever we needed more, that's when we went and got it. And obviously, that 500 sheets that we went and got wasn't enough. Because what you see is that 500 sheets now. So you can see how much of a short. That's a good thing we went and got 300 more this spring. So I got 300 more sheets to finish that up. Part of creation is, is enjoying what you're doing. And that's what that's what that's what's happening here with this uh, the whole process of this building. So you hopefully we'll be able to utilize this as one of our teaching places where we can come and do cultural teachings and and and, and just just kind of be who we are in this in this environment. Eh?